Hello and welcome to 2230, your go-to channel for in-depth insights into the latest news and happenings around the Asian region. Today, we're delving into a hot topic that's been buzzing in Singapore recently, the issue of noisy road constructions and the frustrations faced by residents. But before we dive into it, if you find this video informative and engaging, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Now, let's get into it. You've probably heard about Mr. BK Tan's recent ordeal. He tipped to social media to voice his concerns about the deafening noise from road construction work near his home. Imagine being woken up at 3 a.m. to the sound of heavy machinery and construction in your neighborhood. It's a situation that no one wants to find themselves in. Mr. Tan reached out to the National Environment Agency, NEA, inquiring whether such noise levels were allowed. The NEA regulations on construction noise control provide a framework for permissible noise levels, depending on factors such as the time of day and the type of building affected. Mr. Tan raised some vital questions that many of us may have pondered. Do NEA's regulations apply to other agencies, like the Land Transport Authority, LTA? Is the LTA aware of NEA's noise regulations? Does the LTA continue to approve construction work if they are aware of the noise regulations? Can rules be negotiated to meet critical project milestones? What avenues do concerned residents have other than reaching out to their Member of Parliament, MP? and the Prime Minister's Office, PMO. These questions deserve thoughtful consideration, and we'd love to hear your opinions on the matter. Do you think NEA's regulations should be binding across different government agencies, or should each agency have its own set of noise control rules? How do you think construction projects should balance the need to meet critical milestones with respecting the rights of residents for a peaceful living environment? Mr. Tan's case is not isolated. Earlier this year, residents near the North-South Corridor construction works expressed their distress over what they described as terrible noise. Imagine having to work from home, dealing with the relentless pounding and whirring of machines. It's an unfortunate situation that many residents find themselves in. In fact, one resident last year even resorted to documenting the noise level near his residence on TikTok. Going by the name Noisemary Mount, he captured the nightly ordeal caused by the construction of the North-South Corridor along Marymount. His TikTok account serves as a vivid representation of the impact of such construction noise on the daily lives of residents. Now, it's your turn to join the conversation. What are your thoughts on this issue? Have you ever faced similar challenges due to construction noise in your area? Let us know in the comments below, and please share this video to spread awareness about this pressing matter. That's a wrap for today's discussion on noisy construction in Singapore. We hope you found this video both informative and engaging. If you want more content like this, remember to like, share, and subscribe to 2230. Your support keeps us going, and it's greatly appreciated. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.